Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Mizu Sushi in Bears Lake, aka basically Halifax, Nova Scotia. So it feels weird saying that I was here at Mizu in Halifax because I have been going to the Mizu location in Dartmouth, which is their flagship location, um, which I mean they're right just across the bridge, they're like 20 minutes from each other probably, um, but for years. But anyway, yeah, so I've been going to the location in Dartmouth for years, I used to live on the east coast of Canada, and when I lived in Halifax, I went there literally at least once a week. Um, and every time I've, well, often when I've gone back to visit it, I'd make a stop on by. It has always been one of my, um, we'll say, long-standing favorite sushi places, and I wanted to try out their new location. Um, this was after I uh, quarantined here one time, because upon entering the East Coast of Canada, you have to quarantine. So I did quarantine here uh, for a full 14 days before, you know, I had to head out. And on my last day, I figured I would go get myself some sushi and try this new location. So I was here at dinner time, which is a probably about 20, it was about 25-ish, $26. Um, at first, upon entering, I was greeted with a brand new location. Um, it is definitely quite aesthetic on the inside, but it was kind of odd because I was like taking a video of the menu and the server came over and was like, you can't record the menu. I was like, what? Anyway, um, so let's get to the food. So I ordered some uh, sashimi, I had the white tuna, I had the salmon, um, I had also a beef. Uh, they had a beef kind of, you know, we'll call it a well, sashimi, tartar, kind of, etc. And then I had my sushis, um, my nigiris. I had the red tuna, I had uh, avocado, and I had a number of rolls. So kind of my long-standing items I've always gotten here, um, because often, I'll be honest, mostly I would go at lunchtime, is a bit cheaper. Um, I would get the salmon avocado rolls, um, the spicy salmon rolls, then also get some spicy tuna sushi or nigiri, and then the white tuna in basically the rolls and or um, the nigiri as well. Um, but I will say the uh, spicy salmon rolls and the spicy salmon sushi have long again been my all-time favorites, and hence definitely I have a number of those uh, su uh, sushis in front of me today. Uh, generally what I like to do in my mouth as you're seeing me mixing is I take a fish nigiri, so like in this case the tuna, and I mix it with a um, avocado nigiri in my mouth. That's the best way then you get your avocado and your fish. Here I had a, a crab uh, sushi, um, which was very good. Like I said, the kind of spicy options here, anything with the mayonnaise has been my long-standing favorites. And I had full, you know, confidence that it was still going to be the same, or at least I had hoped. Like I said, this was a totally new location, um, but I'd looked at the reviews before I went and everybody said it was, you know, still solid and everything was solid. While I didn't have a, like, idea for like a number of sushi in mind that I was going to eat, I was on a limited uh, time limit, so I had to be mindful of that. Diving into my uh, sa spicy salmon sushi, as I mentioned there, guys, they were good. Um, what I like about this place, compared to many other places I've been, is they actually use real chunks of salmon, like they're real pieces. For some places, they use literally like shredded fish in their sushis, like nigiris like that, in their rolls. And I feel like it's like cat food. Like it's just not, it's just not my preferred taste, texture, etc. Heading into the uh, white tuna, yes, I understand that it's not actually a tuna, it's something called like escarlo or whatever, and some people say they get GI distress. I never have, and I enjoy it. It's pretty good. Um, the salmon uh, sashimi as well was, it was fine. Um, like it tasted all pretty good. It, it, in uh, then coming onto this beef, um, something again I'd try. Again, most of the items I ordered normally in you know, you'll probably see me ordering or generally on the menu, uh, the lunch menu, with the exception, like I said, the sashimis um, and or, you know, the beef and a few items like that, which honestly aren't always even my favorite. Um, coming into second round, here we had, there you go, guys, there's my spicy salmon sushis, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my uh, maki rolls, I should say to be more specific. And then I ordered a, um, a like a, kind of like a pink lady roll, um, which is the, um, the ones with the red tops. 
which was uh, like a smoked salmon on it. Um, this I was eating right now, I believe, was the uh, spicy white tuna. And then here's my spicy salmons. And like I said, guys, they were good. They've been consistently good at the other location. I hope they would be here as well. Um, and or there, I think, was an eel roll even. Um, so I'm just dousing. I mean, two at a time, guys. But these rolls are huge. Like, there's my, there's my spicy salmon. But yeah, look at the size of those guys. Absolutely massive rolls. And that was one thing that I've always liked about them there. Good portions, and again, the quality has always been good. It's always been tasty. And they prepare everything there themselves, like the fishes. You can see them, you know, cleaning them up, um, you know, behind the counters, etc. And I do think it does make a difference. And it really is. It's a flavorful place. Like, I have no complaints. And generally, the only ever, you know, sometimes when I'm in the past, the only criticism I guess I've given is that sometimes it's been deathly slow, and sometimes they miss a few items. But overall, that's pretty standard. Trying this pink lady roll with the smoked salmon, which I've had at other locations, but my first time ever having it here, um, it was pretty solid. Like I said, I wanted to have a second bite um, because I find the smoked salmon used can have a big play on it. It is a like a crab, like a spicy crab salad or crab salad on the inside. So you know, it's a it is a nice pairing. It's quite a rich roll, like it's quite heavy in regards to like the heaviness of the kind of smokiness of the salmon and also the mayonnaise. Um, in the crab roll, but it was solid. It was solid. It wasn't the best one I've ever had, but it was solid. Whereas, like I said, guys, when I come here, my main thing is those um, spicy uh, salmon rolls. And what's excellent and my, always my favorite of it is the spicy salmon rolls always have, um, like, they have an avocado in it. Like, that's the standard. So it's like a salmon avocado roll with the spicy mayonnaise on top. Again, using real pieces of fish, not just ground shredded fish um, and it makes a big difference it's been my longtime favorite and as you said I, or as you see can see i was very much enjoying it still just doing them like literally two at a time but again i have to give a huge credit to mizu um, for the uh one the quality overall but the size of the rolls guys like i said these rolls at least pretty much throughout my countless visits to mizu and the brand have always generally been consistently well portioned well sized. There is some variation that I have, you know, gotten taught from time to time, but overall, generally pretty standard. It was actually pretty funny. Um, one or two of the staff that I saw from the Dartmouth location, I saw here as well. That being said, it prior to my visit, it would probably been about two years since I had been in, at at Mizu. Um, I tried to go in Christmas of 2019. However, there was such a long wait that I went to another location. Um, a, a, a different sushi location, um, a different restaurant, which was I had a great experience there as well. But uh, like I said, guys, my old stomping grounds, Mizu. I had to come back, give it a go, and uh, you know, to this point, it had been you know very satisfactory, and uh, really had no complaints. Like I said, guys, just the size. But the, anyway, th that was a sorry, that was a spicy tuna roll. That's what that was there. Um, now that one they did use uh, for the red tuna. They did use kind of a more shredded um, ish um, fish versus the solid pieces, which you'd get with the white tuna or the salmon variant. Of course, the salmon being my favorite. Coming on to our next order here, guys, um, we had uh, some of my other favorites and, and unique ones. So again, we had on the right of the screen, the spicy red tuna, in the middle, the spicy avocado, my favorite. And on the left, we had a fruit roll. Yes, so fruit rolls are, are things that I see not at all all you can eat sushis, but whenever they are, I definitely enjoy them. I definitely like to try them. And then we also had a uh, what they called avocado peanut roll. So really unique, but I really, really like it. And then I had a number of my uh, spicy salmon nigiri, my spicy salmon sushi, which again, were, are pretty much have always been consistently great. Um, in this case, they were good. The only, I guess, ever issue, again, I've ever run into with those would be that the, the sushi, like the fish was cold, which fish is not supposed to be cold in sushi. That's one pet peeve I have. Um, and I decided to grab a miso soup because why not? It's something I don't often get, but I was into, like I said, ordering a couple items. Um, so yeah, but anyway, yeah, that peanut roll is pretty interesting. Um, it has a, it's candied, like the candied honey roasted peanuts with avocado. So it's very rich. But it's really, like, it's oddly good. Like, I never would have thought putting peanuts and avocado, like, sweet peanuts at that, and avocado in rice and seaweed. But, hey, whoever thought of it, that was a good call. Uh, again, there you go. There's my favorite salmon, spicy salmon sushi, guys. Through and through. As long as the fish is not cold, it's generally 
and it always has been pretty dang good. At this point here, I was probably well over 100, which is crazy to think about. Like, yeah, definitely well over 100. I mean, I was getting probably 30 pieces at a time. Which, I mean, it, it's crazy how fast it flies. Like, it doesn't seem like, to me at least, at the time, like I'm eating that much. I find sushi is always just, like, so easy to eat so many pieces. But it's when I go back and look at my orders that I'm like, oh, wow, I've actually had quite a bit. Of course, what you, you know, are seeing is I'm getting, let's say, 24 rolls at a time. You know, maybe 6 to 10, you know, nigiri. Um, so, I mean, it does kind of add up. But, yeah, there's my... Uh, little peanut roll which is good it's sweet it's you know savory and I guess if you are an individual that does not like fish in rolls or you know is a vegetarian or whatnot it does provide a nice uh, rich kind of savory and unique option of something which you know is not fried or I mean arguably I mean I guess I don't know I was gonna say not vegetable ish either like a California roll but yeah I mean avocado and peanuts you might kind of call it that um, some of the rolls like that one there, just a great portion of fish, guys. Um, whoever is making these rolls were really good, really like really nicely sized. And again, I have to give a huge kudos to them because they always, or at least generally, you know, have treated me pretty well at Mizu. Overall, though, I would say unless you're specifically coming for the sashimi, I would probably recommend just going at lunch if you have the option. I mean, again, you can go at dinner and there's no issue with that, but you're paying about $10 more for the dinner price versus the lunch price. Um, whereas they've had literally everything except the sashimi and the, red, or the pink uh, lady roll on the lunch menu as well. Um, here's my fruit rolls. I like the fruit rolls, guys. It's, it's sweet. This is a strawberry uh, mango one. They also have a couple ones of bananas. It's, it's like kind of like dessert, but I don't treat it quite like dessert because... I mean, it gives a nice sweetness, but it also just gives you like a nice different flavor change, I guess, compared to like a lot of rich rolls, because it's not very rich, it's more sweet. Here we have then um, some more nigiri coming here, guys, some red tuna, avocado, some barbecue eel, and some salmon. So once I've done this here, that puts us at 168 pieces. So at this point, I did order um, a few more items. Um, I figured, hey, I'd go for like 200 because why not? Um, I had, you know, however X many in front of me, but I figured, hey, I wasn't too far from 200, so I ordered a few more. I had some uh, more fruit rolls coming because, like I said, those are kind of a nice way to have a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of, like dessert, and I think it was a uh, maybe it was a spicy salmon roll, but anyway, we'll have it coming. Um, so yeah, salmon nigiri, I kind of touched on it earlier. Um, it was solid, no real complaints. Again, the biggest thing is that the, uh, the, the, the temperature for me, and this, the temperature was okay, but I kind of found it was, although it was all right, it was fine. Um, it was, I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed it more in the, in the maki roll this day, I'll put it that way. Um, again, I have my uh, in-mouth mixing combination where I take a fish nigiri or a fish sushi and then I chase it with an avocado, um, which I mean, basically I'm just recreating my favorite, you know, kind of salmon, avocado, spicy, you know, salmon, whatever in my mouth, except I'm using the nigiri pieces. So the portions are a little bit bigger. Um, I mean, you do have more rice, but maybe more fish as well. I don't know. I would assume it's, you know, I've never really compared to side by side but the portion is definitely bigger it's a it's a fuller mouth i guess you could say also doing the same with the red tuna there and then i got a few more of my um, spicy salmon nigiri or spicy salmon sushis there um, big misconception people don't think i like spice i actually love uh, spice i like spice when i'm eating casually but when you're doing food challenges it just doesn't really the large quantities and certain spices just don't work. Like, I don't like ghost peppers and stuff. I like, like, leisurely, you know, eating. Um, here, that I was drinking warm water. I had warm water and uh, cold water. I had both because I really was freezing. Um, fun, fun fact for myself is generally I find if you go to a lot of restaurants, like American restaurants, you ask for warm water. 
or hot water, it's kind of an odd request. Whereas you're at a more Asian restaurant, it's more standard. Um, sorry, that was actually a, uh, so in addition to the uh, couple uh, spicy Sam sushis, that is a spicy uh, crab, which I was enjoying as well. Um, again, it's basically the, the traditional kind of crab salad with the spicy mayonnaise, and it's hard to go wrong. I mean, anything with that spicy mayonnaise is like such a great flavor. Um, it is very, very good. Um, I was definitely starting to fill up a little bit at this point. Um, I had been definitely going hard on the water. Um, I had been consuming a lot of soy sauce as well. If you notice, this is a new bottle of soy sauce. Um, like essentially I went through what would be a whole bottle of soy sauce on this visit. Um, again, I kind of had to be mindful of the time because I had the flight to catch. Uh, here I am trying to uh, cool down my water. And so I'm just here waiting for some of these more rolls to come. Um, and something was not really going well in my mouth. Some kind of piece of seaweed was being a little, little chewier than normal, I guess you could say. But it also kind of comes into play. When you start to fill up, it is a little harder to eat such items. Um, but anyway, to kind of not give it away, like I said, I did order some more rolls. And I basically ran into the issue where I was running out of time. And I, so here, um, obviously finished the rolls I had, um, which would be the... Uh, the fruit rolls there um, but while I was waiting for my other rolls I waited probably another 15 20 minutes whatever it may be it was not coming I thought that was odd so I did look around and eventually I did ask the lady if hey are they coming and she said oh sorry they didn't make them yet or they missed it I'm um, doing to order them again and at that point I could not I had to go so that kind of ended up being 170 pieces versus 200 but anyway, that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been a while since I did an all-you-can-eat sushi video. It's been a long time coming. And uh, I'll definitely get another one, hopefully, coming your way sooner rather than later when everything is more normal. Thanks so much, everybody. Until next time, stay happy, the hungry, and happy eating. And this is the Atlantic Ocean. Out there, goes for miles. And here, very beautiful, scenic cast upon the water with what would be some also very expensive homes over there. But very pretty on this beautiful day. of seagulls and the water. Beautiful. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Also, I want you to join the Happy Healthy Hungry Family. That's right, guys. Hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little thing that looks like my face. And then I picked two videos out specifically for you. Yes, that's right. I picked out two videos just for you. I know you're going to like them. So real quick, hit one of these right here. This video is going to go away in a couple seconds. So please hit them. Three, two, one. Click one. Let's go.